Hello everyone, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I got from the antique store that I went to yesterday. I got supplies to do junk journals and these are all books that I got. I got this Rats of Nim book. Uh, the books at this place were a little bit expensive but I haven't had good luck finding books at like thrift stores and things like that. They're all like brand new books. It's like everyone wants to make junk journals and get all the old looking books. So I had to go to this an antique store. But this is what I found. This used to be one of my favorite movies when I was growing up. So that's kind of why I was more drawn to this book. Even though it's not that old looking. I just kind of thought it was you know, a little old looking. That's why I liked that one. And this one, the pages are definitely more old looking. They have some graphics on them, like right here. And as I flip through, there's a little bit more. So there's this one. And the next book that I got was this science book. I really like this because there's a lot of images in this. And I like the way the pages feel also. They're not like the magazine type. The glossy pages, they're not those glossy pages like how they are now. They're, this is definitely an older book with lots of lots of pictures. And I was thinking that if I was doing a project, I could just go flip back into the index back here and look for something that maybe I had a topic on or that would relate in the junk journal and then I could go look up, look it up and maybe that image would be, I don't know, in relation somehow to what I was doing. I don't know if that will really work out like that but I really did think this book was cool. And there's actually homework that got left inside of here too. And it's like old, like old paper too. So I, I like that. that. There's like old paper left inside of there. Next one is this old magazine. And I really liked this because this doesn't have like magazine type pages. They're not glossy. They actually feel like book pages. And these have lots of illustrations on them. different types of things. I thought this would make a good magazine to take apart. And I got another one like it. So it's just like the same, same kind of thing. I like these kids right here. So I thought those were good. Then I picked up an old time magazine. <laughs> I just thought it was funny how many, how many cigarette ads are in here and how many alcohol ads are in here. I mean, there's just so many cigarette ads in here. It's like what dominated the whole magazine alcohol. I was just flipping through this. There's just so many. See? <laughs> but I thought this would make a good thing to take apart. And then look at how big this one is. This one is huge. My camera is not even getting it all in frame. I would have to take my camera out and hold it. But I just thought this would make good pages or if I wanted to make them envelopes or pockets or, you know, I, I have never done a junk journal before, so I'm new to this. So if you guys have any recommendations on whose channel I should be checking out or 
if you guys make junk journals, if I should be checking out your guys' channel or any recommendations that you guys have for me, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you for watching my magazine and book haul with me. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.